City's Skylines. How does a let's try of this game even work? Let's find out. Uh, this is requested by Patreon subscriber Daniel A. Leahy. New game. Oh boy. I have so many choices of places to start in. The Lagoon Shore. The Sandy Beach. The Diamond Coast. Islands. So they all pre-made... They must be all pre-made maps. I didn't know if they were randomized or what. River Run. Islands. Blackwoods. I don't know. Let's do Lagoon Shore, I guess. It's just a little video anyway. Suitable area for building. 56%. That's not a lot. I've always wanted to play this game. I grew up playing some amount of Sim Town and Sim Park as a kid. Which program, in particular Sim Park, burned a lot of uh, stock sounds into my brain that animals make and stuff like that. Uh, so I still recognize those stock sounds to this day in other contexts. And I'm like, ah, it's that I know from the other thing. Uh, and then I came by and watched, and I played Sim City. Specifically, I walked in when Andrew was playing Sim City 2013. And I'm like, that looks fun. And he was having fun, and it seemed cool, and it looked nice with this little tilt shift photography style and color palette and all that. And then I played it for a few days, and I was having fun until it turned out to be a f disaster of a game when all of its mechanics melted and fell apart. Uh, so that was a bummer. And this looks to me like it'd be neat. It's a weird one for me, Let's Play-wise, because it's a management game where you just kind of go. But uh, I've always been curious. But uh, it's been on the to-do list for so long that who knows if I'd ever get around to actually playing it ever. Huh. I think over there is... Yeah, over there, I think, is where my, the actual screenshot was from. Or maybe there. But I'm like all the way over here. Whoa, witness puzzle. <laughs> huh. I wonder if I can expand over time outward of the square? Because this is a really small square. Let's start by building some roads and zoning areas next to them. Building will spawn the zoned areas, and you can unlock new services and buildings as your city grows. For help, click on the question mark button. To provide you with information regarding the menu or view you have open. We build roads to expand our cities. Roads need to provide zones for buildings and city services. Larger roads allow faster travel and greater amounts of traffic. Roads with decorated with decoration produce less noise pollution. Roads with decoration? Hmm. Use page of no. Not gonna do that. Cause page those that's my recording software buttons. I'd have to change those if I wanted to do anything else there. Let's see, this is a bit this is a bit of an over overblown explanation for starting off. Like, we're going to explain 50 elements about roads. I can just build straight across the entire map if I want to. It wouldn't even be that hard. It's even rather tempting. Boom. Blowing your m Oh, I don't know what that message said. It went away. Oh, was it this thing? Hello, this is Chirper. Keep an eye... Uh, uh, keep an eye on what your citizens are talking about and this and what is happening around the world. Hashtag you found me. You can change the face of Chirper, like turning into a little scuba Chirper or punk Chirper with the nose ring. <laughs> Alright. That's pretty, that's actually funny. Alright. Let's see about, so I have roads. And I seem to have lost the thread for the tutorials or something because they're just gone now. It's fine. I'm sure I can figure it out. Just need to find where they put the menu item for elevation step, curved road. These are all road menus. Oh, there we go. Zoning. I need zones. So let's uh, we'll set up a commercial zone, an industrial zone. Probably want the uh, industrial zone to be away from the people live here zone, for example. Let's put some residential like right over here. Ooh, it goes the entire bank. Gotcha. Let's maybe anchor these out a little bit. I think they're giving me like the unit of basically like a block right here. There we go. 
Whoa. Weird, weird angle. It's kind of a fun shape. Bit ridiculous. And I zigzag through here, technically. It's kind of a dumb way to shape your uh, block. If I'm going to do something like that, I should at least do it from, like, inside here. Nah. Let's just do a basic grid. It just always wants to continue from where you last clicked. There we go. Give me a few blocks to turn into residential here. Oop. Went a little bit further out than I meant to. I can probably... Let's maybe undo that one. <laughs> if it does that entire chunk, then it's going to make me accidentally uh, bulldoze some houses later when I'm trying to deal with other stuff. There are filled, uh, different tools for zoning. Fill and marquee. And small and large brush. Ooh. So I'm doing fill. So marquee would make it so that's the area that I highlight. And then large brush is just like... This chunk becomes it. I can work with that. There we go. Outside connection needed. Please connect your city to a highway connection. This way people can move in and transport goods into your city. Yeah. I need to create an output or it's not going to work out well for us. I should probably also have this road be bigger. So I should have done this in the first place. Ah. So I've already fucked up. <laughs> I've already fucked up by misapplying this road. So we're off to a great start, basically. Let's start a little conservative for starters. Just to have an in, in, in and out. Oh! This is two... a two-lane one-way road. Cool, so I'm just misreading everything completely. Y'all don't- y'all can't see that. Shh, you didn't see the horrible mistake I made. So no, this is the road to go with, because I don't think I can make these ones yet. Yeah, I straight up can't. Okay, so I'm stuck with these. I'm stuck with what I've got at the moment. There we go. We have an input, we have an output. Oh god, there's a lot of options here. Yeah, curved roads. Freeform road. That's the one where I'd just be like, Wee! Nope, not quite. Amanda Clark. Nanoboot. Nanobot research funded in many... Okay, goodbye. In many governments. The possibilities are endless. Nanomachines, son. There's a lot of pop-ups here. Okay, let's just get some zones down. So that's my residential. I could expand out that way with that stuff, so why not put commercial over here a bit? Uh, this is a two-way road, so I don't have to make another path out immediately. I'm getting turned around a little bit with this interface. What if I do screw around a bit with the, uh, one-way road system? Whoa! Why did that... Why did it not come out straight? Oh, because I'm still in the dumb setting. There we go. Now we're back on a grid. So I thought I'd play around a little bit with this, uh, one-way system. Crazy. I'm crazy. Why can't I merge a one-way road into a two-lane road? They would just have to turn. I guess I gotta click here. It won't let me do anything else. Yeah, it lets me do it there. There must be something in the way over there. Maybe it's because I'm too close to the boundaries of the map or something. There we go. So now we got this big old crazy loop. No. There we go. Let's go ahead and just make this entire area... ...business... ...area... ...zone. Oh, I can't see my stuff because you're in the way. I'm like, what? Where are you hiding these elements? Okay, that's a little too much work. Click, 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 click.
There we go. Now I got a business zone set up for now. So now people can come over here to have their live place where they live. Come over here to have a workplace where they work. And I'm gonna put shitty shitty bang bang down here where the really shitty buildings are. That sounds like a fun idea. First I should have a basic... Ah! Okay. That was a dramatic change visually. We need to set up some basic stuff like electricity so people can have power. How long have these people lived here without power? I don't know if, how much time's passed already. Uh, power plants produce electricity for your modern cities. Uh, when placing power lines, you can see the reach of the electricity around the buildings as a light blue area. Connecting these areas with the power lines to move the electricity between them. Uh, power plants produce a ground and or noise pollution. So I want to put the stuff away, but I need to connect it. But yeah, once there's noise pollution, people will be less happy, most likely. We got wind turbines, which are noisy, and coal power plants, which are less noisy, but create pollution. And here's power lines, which I need to actually power these people. Where's the, where's the blue circle? Or does it not show up until I have an actual power source? Hmm. $80 a week. A lot of more dollars a week. <laughs> Noise pollution. Power outage 40, 0 to 8. Don't have to worry about the fact that this will change effectiveness based on how much we actually have at the time. Let's just put you down the road over here a bit. Congratulations, the first city's first power plant has been constructed. Juiced up! I'm not gonna figure out how these guys work. I kind of like steady production of electricity, but there are environmental f f that goes away really quickly. Factors to consider. Hashtag smog. Stop hashtagging me. Okay, so I think I need to click in here. And then, do I drag it? And that'll make it expand at the right rate, looks like. Something like that, basically. Here's an idea. How about I start here? And make it go along. Yeah, I have this little middle of the lane area. I could make a. I could make the stuff proceed that way through town. Then I just need to figure out how to actually link up the power to house. Oh no, they have power now. I just had to be in the zone. So that was all the power lines I need to add. Cool. Probably need more of the power plants eventually, but for now we're good. Let's work on water. Connect the water pumps and drains with water pipes. Draw the water pipelines under your city to provide buildings with a water and a sewer system. Note that the water pumps and drains need electricity to work. Water tanks store excess water and supply the city with autom uh, automatically when demand exceeds production. Make sure your water pumps are located a safe distance away from any drain pipes to prevent people from using contaminated water. During the winter, heating is required. Upgraded water pipes carry heat into buildings. So, in our entire- we do have one water source and one water output, potentially, that go in two completely different directions, which are one way of trying to make sure that we don't, uh, mix our sources, potentially. It might be really expensive to pump to two different locations, though. Pumping station, drain pipe. Yeah. Maybe plump you over here. And this will be my- this will be my poop place. It'll be very appealing. Hooray! Water pumping station's on being constructed. Okay. Pumping station. Put this over here. That's some pretty low... Eh, let's undo this mistake. Hopefully I'm not just obliterating my money with these kinds of mistakes. Probably am. Come on, let's put you over here. Out of city limits, come on. Shoreline recommended. Yeah, I would like to have it on the shoreline. Okay, there it goes. At least here, there's actually flow to make take the shit away. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. There we go. Gotta figure out how to link this up with society. No big deal. Uh, 
And suddenly, we have a water source. Put our water tower around here. But not... Yeah, the water tower can't clip through the... Uh, we can't have it go clip, clipping through the... Uh, power cables, so... Put a water tower over here. Can I create, like, a junction to that? Is that a reasonable thing, or am I making a goof? Alright. Now our output cable needs to go somewhere. Just have it go straight-ish through here. Then redirect. Ta-da! Someone's gonna be losing their mind with how nonsensical the system is, I'm sure. Oh god. So I need to get power all the way down to there. Uh, we'll see if I can build power that far. <laughs> Let's continue down this track for now. There we go. You're powered now, right? They're starting to blink. Does that mean we're good? I hope. <laughs> I hope I'm doing that right. I'm probably building on too grand of a scale. Oh, these buildings are empty. Nobody lives here. I've immediately fucked this entire thing up. I'm just godly at this, evidently. Don't worry, I'm about to go into debt, so this will be extra exciting in a moment. When I completely run out of all funds. Won't that be fun? Energy consumption, energy availability. It's it's very available. So is water going? I don't think it says it needs power anymore, does it? Are you draining poop out? Are we good? Medium demand for industry and offices. Low demand for residential zone. Don't... Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. I just built these houses. How are they already like a decayed ancient cesspool? Ah, but yeah, people are moving in now. Is it because of the fact that I've got freaking... What's this? Uh, abandoned low density residential building. That's one thing to call an abandoned building. This info shows you what's going on about the selected building. You can see how much information, blah blah blah. How close to leveling up the building is, is a w interesting to say. Anyway, there's a problem It says that the, what the problem is. Right now the problem is that no one's here. It was abandoned because there was no water. Well now I got water, so never mind. I would think the fresh water is basic stuff, but no. How long do we have to wait for wor working water pipes? Is there not working water pipes? Oh. Uh... Gotcha. I'm out of money. Alright, time to figure out how to take a loan in this game. I have negative money. We're good. There should be a loan system in this game, right? Probably this money button. Oh, this is the economy. And I need loans. The money panel. I'll figure it out. Click on the loan tab. Eh. Did I immediately screw this whole thing up by over... overbuilding? Probably. Oh, right, they also need electricity and water. We're doing well. We're doing well. Okay. What does it say? Water and sewage. I think that's daytime and nighttime. I think that's a little moon right there, right? Yeah, our population's trending downwards. And I have made a mistake. I thought I could just take a loan out when I'm starting up and then pay it off later. 
I may be in more trouble than I originally thought. Which means I've really screwed this up. Loans. New features. Loans. Yes. Oh. Oh no, you need a population of 460 just to take out loans? See, I didn't know that going in. I thought I could just kind of go for it. And I can go kick some ass. But instead, I'm a bit boned. Shit. Okay. These are all abandoned. D zone is going to be what I'm going to have to do here. I'm going to have to uh, de-zone all the areas that are currently not working out. All the ones that don't have water and power. And we're just going to have to hang out a moment. I need my I need my income to trend upward. We can probably get away with just making this one spot generate money. Because I think that's in range of power and water. Yeah. Okay, so now I need is a fast forward button. Where I, while we wait for my mistake to undo itself. And my, um... Mm, 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 no, my uh, negative trend downward is uh, continuing downward. And my population is shrinking. Okay, so fast forward is not the solution. I have royally fucked up all of the things. So that's a good start to this, uh... This is a... <laughs> immediately became a train wreck of a let's try. Alright, we're going to quit. <laughs> uh, I've made a horrible mistake. I've, t I've learned some bad lessons from a certain game called SimCity 2013, which was admittedly all the way back in 2013. That was a while ago. That was a while ago. But, uh, yeah, you could just take out loans immediately. So that worked out fine. So you could just overbuild like crazy and then just pay off your loans later. Let you uh, start off really aggressively. Instead, I think we need to set up like a basic sustainable intro and then expand from there that's fine give us a chance to do a, a different map i want two rivers because i can make a more compact water system of inflow and outflow we're gonna have a, a healthy river and a shit river and we're gonna have fun with that fuck you damn it oh taunt me with having two rivers and then don't see this is annoying over here is where the game showed me in the thumbnail, but over here is where I actually get to play. Can't help but notice that that's very different, you know. Just a bit, just a bit misleading, if you know what I mean. Just a wee bit tad misleading. All right. Let's get this started and try to make it less embarrassing. Okay, let's build some roads. Go away, go away. Yeah, all these options are disabled. You start off very much on rails for a bit. Can you, like, lock onto a right angle? There we go. Ah! If you lock onto a right angle, it actually will eventually get off kilter. Alright. I'll average that on my own then. Here's our starting road. And for now, I'll just go ahead and connect these two to each other, which is not amazing, but that's what we're going to start off with. We're going to be a little bit away from there. It's fine. Create a nice little semi-pleasant housing grid. And fill bucket that shit in.
little uh, local geometry complications or messing things up a little bit, but it just kind of adds character to the whole thing. You get to be like, oh, look at that. They've got a... There's a rock between those two buildings, so they didn't build anything for like 20 feet. Isn't that exciting? Look at these big old rocks. Gotta appreciate local geology and uh, forestry and all that, which I'm cutting down to build. But don't think about that right now. We're fine. Anyway, water drain pipe. This is where all the poopy goes. So that's the water direction. So we're gonna wanna put the drain pipe a bit further down, hopefully. So that uh, we don't drink the shit water. Because drinking shit water is, uh, uh hypothetically concern considered to be bad for you. Will not confirm nor deny. And I'm just gonna put windmills all over the place. Do I pick the direction for them? It's a lot of noise pollution range. Uh, let's, let's do the... Let's make a coal plant. Must be placed uh, next to a roadside. I'm gonna build the road first. That'll get us started. And I'm not blowing all of our money immediately yet. And if I put the power source near this stuff, it'll be easier to make the power actually reach said location. Yeah, I'll build you along the roadside. There we go. Now you guys have power once it uh, finishes figuring out how to establish power. There we go. Now we just need, we just need some water. Let's finish making this road go far enough that it actually goes by that. There we go. We're going a lot faster because I've acquainted myself with many of the mechanics at this point, at least. There we go. Definitely a bit of a change. Uh, one of the really weird things that SimCity 2013 did is that it made roads be your power and water somehow simultaneously, which didn't really make any sense. It was a little bizarre. Whereas this time around, we actually are managing said mechanics. Which means I need to step the fuck up. <laughs> it looks like I can just place these under the street. Which somewhat simplifies this process for me. But I... But I can't place the destination under the street, I guess? I'm not sure. I'll figure you out. Is creating a loop bad? <laughs> Is that bad for me? Alright. Let's generate our wastewater output. There we go. There we go. And I haven't even gone into negative money yet, although I'm kind of on my way to negative money right now. So that's kind of bad. We will figure it out. So next up, let's build some, uh... A bit of, uh... A business district down here. Before I get myself into, you know, deep shit. <laughs> And now I'm getting into trouble here where these structures kind of get in the way. Go away. All these additional interface elements are getting in my way. Alright. Now we'll have a place for some of that. I demand for industry or offices. I don't think offices... Our offices... Offices are just commercial, aren't they? 
This is residential, commercial, industry, or offices. Oh, an office zone is different from an industry zone. Gotcha. All right, I gotta make some industry over here, so let's get busy with that. You know what? I've got this area back here. Just have them drive by it on the way into town. That'll make some sense. 87%. My only options are not 90 degrees. Uh... <laughs> There we go. I do like the painter. That's kind of a neat little mechanic. It's just kind of strangely, strangely satisfying to mess with. Alright. And so now we'll have some amount of industry. And here's a little offices area. This little split it spread out. This is like probably like a mile of open road, which is probably not amazing, but I'm planning on expanding over time. So I'm trying to make this all make some degree of sense. We got 270 people. We have sustainable growth, it would appear, I hope. Is my negative weekly income trending downward? By which I mean upward into positivity, please? Because that'd be nice. Maybe cut down on our nighttime resources a bit, right? I think that's what that means. I need to trend upward on my income. Let's try... My population's going up, so that's, that should be good. Let's watch these numbers tick for a bit. Ah, oh, yeah. We're making more money. Well, we're making less... We're, make, we're losing money, but we're losing less money every day. And soon we'll be making more money. Hooray. Population's trending up. Before long, we'll hit that milestone that lets you do loans and everything. We'll technically be ahead of where we left off before. It just occurred to me that I'm a, a dumb person. Go back to one speed. No, one speed. There we go. I haven't set up my electricity and power for many of the... Yeah. Okay, specifically you guys lack electricity, so we need to get busy with that. Yep. Screwed that up. Alright, that should deal with that, that that problem a bit. Now we need to deal with water. This is where my uh, leanings towards spreading things out is going to really backfire on me, isn't it? Is, uh, I'm trying to space things out so I can expand, but of course, the more distance you have, the more expensive everything gets. So you gotta be careful with that. But we are making positive money now. And many of people's concerns have seemed to have been taken care of. Was that guy just saying they didn't have water? They should have water. Is the poopy output visible, I wonder? Can I see it? Can I see the poopy output? The stream's going this way, so we should be good where that's concerned. You can see it's all trending this way. Stronger current on this side of the ri on the w uh, this side of the river too, so hopefully that's good. Would be nice if it was daytime because it's really hard to see anything. Congratulations! There we go. Now we have back we've graduated to the next tier where loans and stuff are available, and garbage and healthcare and education. Hooray! I didn't screw it up this time in a really dumb way. Genetic genetically manipulated corn grows three times faster than regular corn. Or God damn it. Organic food lobbyists hungry for negative impacts. I don't know if I care about much that this person says to be, to be fair. All right. Now it's time to start caring about, like, being able to treat everybody and stuff like that. We gotta keep them healthier, they're gonna be in big old boned town. Create a nice little, uh, health clinic. Probably near where all the humans live. I heard that humans like health clinics to, so they can be alive people. So that's probably a sweet little trick to have. 
Oh, yeah, you can get a distinct sense of its range by placing it around here. So it's actually maybe more most effective to put in the residential zone, which is a little weird to have it to feel slightly weird in that context. But you know what? Boop. Did it. Y'all have medicine now. Isn't that fun? What's wrong with you? Oh, is that the average health? Is that just somebody that's sick right now? Looks like it. What's wrong over here? Four adults. They're uneducated. How to find out about how, uh, the Lynch residents. How to find out about how, uh, unhealthy they are. Two children, four adults. Ah, I guess they're recovering. Now that I've added that building. Right. More waste management needs to be dealt with here, so I need a landfill. I would kind of want to put the landfill over where the other stuff is. is that the, are you saying that's the range of the landfill? Uh, waste management produces pollution, so the facility should be far away from residential areas. Yeah, so this circle is just the range of where everyone will be unhappy if they see it. They need to get around the city easily, but I want to put it in a spot that's not going to make everyone ha unhappy. You wouldn't want to put it by the uh, this this area either. Really, most places I can put this are going to negatively impact the, the general ha happiness that people have. Wow. So if I put it down here, it'll be less likely to reach the industrial zone very well. But if I put it over here, people have to drive past the garbage area on their way to work. Or from... school and everything. What the fuck just exploded? Was that just lightning? Probably just lightning? Let's hope it's just lightning. This is one very sloppy fix. Put it out here, and it still and it reaches them while not being a danger to everybody and their happiness. There we go. Taking out the trash became more convenient than before. Yeah, because I added the ability to do it at all, as it turns out. And now I'm running out of money. Right, we need to work on education. Let's fast forward in the meantime while I wait for things to grow and everything. Children need elementary schools, teenagers need to attend high school, and young adults can get educated at university if one is available. Education is complete when a citizen ends their age phase while enlisted in school, so educating your population takes some time. A working school system produces educated adults who can... Oh, that's the education. I, was, I looked, looked, looked up at them being read and was concerned, but that's because I clicked on education, which is what we're, we're, we're working in progress on. Once I get enough money, I could also take loans, but, you know, now I'm afraid. Most of the mechanics are the same. It's mostly just about having... An, it's another resource building that you just need to place so that the zone is affected. Whoa. You get out of a zone range for school pretty quickly. Alright. I can kind of just plop you down over here, though. For 10 grand. And uh, money is still trending upwards, so we got that going for us. Go away, tweeter. Yeah, how do I get rid of you? Go away. Your information is just not very interesting, as it turns out. So I kind of want you off my screen. Alright. So now we're out of money, but the basic needs have largely been met. I'm a worthy village. Oh, two kilometer by two kilometer. You can purchase a new piece of land in the land view. In the area view. Well, first I need to actually do stuff with most of my area. We can have a second loan. Hmm. Now we have policies and districts and special... District specializations and service policies and... Fire and police and unique buildings and agriculture and a lot of... A lot... Just a lot of stuff. 
Yeah. But the main things are we have a police station and a firehouse. And I was going in speed mode because we needed our, our money growth to be a thing. So it's going pretty slowly. All right. Fire department. It would be nice to not have a fire take out all of my people. Isn't that... Isn't that true, everybody? Let's just kind of plop you down here next to my other... Everything else, really. And you'll take care of all the humans so they don't become dead people. There we go. Turns out live people are way more profitable than dead people. But I need a bit of time... Just need that money to trend upward a bit. If you don't mind. And our residential... Yep, our population's capping a bit, so I'm gonna have to build more residential areas. But first we want a police station, so that I can, uh... Police, as it were. This covers the zone just fine, right? Yeah. Usually it makes sense to put them with each other for emergency vehicle reasons. At least in my head, that's a thing. Look at him go. How much does the population need to grow before the next thing happens? Landmarks? The Chirpex launch site. In the winter market. We need a lot more humans for those. You need 850 to open this menu, I guess, but you need a whole lot more to actually make any of these things. Tiny town, 1300 people. A building is leveled up. And now the big demand is just, we need space for all of our humans to live. Can you create human places for our humans? And I'm like, yo, dude. What a coincidence, I would like to make humans. But unfortunately, I also require monies for said humans, so... If y'all could cheat a speed a little bit more, I could get busy on my, uh, roads and everything. Then we get to have more residential zone. For now, I can just settle for zoning. Which one do I have clicked on? Oh, that would have been bad. Good thing I did not do that. Can you even do anything with one square of area? I'm thinking not. Fuck it, I'll zone it anyway. We'll find out the hard way if anything actually happens. Maybe you can put like a tra like trailers there. Ah, those houses are finding a way. I suppose. Oh, they built up fast. Right. Right, I can't just mindlessly put stuff there. I have to actually make it so that they have resources. So it's not it's not the cheap solution I thought it was. I have to worry about whether or not they have water. And then there goes my money again. They do have power, though. It's all one continuous zone, and I already laid the power before, so we're good. That should sate some of the demand. Yep, that sated some of the demand for residential. Why is this one abandoned? Why were you abandoned? There are not enough workers. Ah, well that's being dealt with by all the added residentials, so good to know. Remember, look at the newly unlocked service, it says, pointing at this icon that seems to not have anything in it. I guess it's just the uh, the unique stuff we can build later when we have enough people. So that's how fire, de yeah, fire departments, it's all, it seems to all be in range. Eh? The green zone's over here, though. I guess that just means, the blue buildings just means they're not currently on fire, I think. Yep. We need more range for more... Yep. Oh, God. I'm just accomplishing so much. Mostly just because I have it in fast forward. 
So it's getting through the tears faster than you'd expect. Eh. That's probably the amount, the amount we have time for today. Where do you buy the more land? Let's modify terrain. Policies. You can ban pets. You can change water usage. This here's where you can try to figure out how to run your whole place. Here's how you beautify the place. I'm wondering how to buy land, because they said I could buy more. Gotta be in here somewhere. Eh, that's a lot of interface. But that's probably about the time we have for today. I think I ran a little longer just because we were, uh... I was essentially starting over and all that. But this is City Skylines. Obviously, you just keep scaling and scaling and zoning and trying to make smart decisions and so on and... Maximize your resource and everyone's happiness. And you try to just run a nice little city. It's fun. It's a nice, chill little experience. But yeah, if you want to check this game out, link to, this, to the Steam page in the description. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.